What's up everybody? This is Josh and this is another episode of Food Demic. And today I've got the raspberries who have cheese and food truck. I dressed for the occasion since y'all are cheese and I got my yellow shirt on today. So <laughs> <laughs> what's up y'all? How's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm doing good, doing good. So y'all tell us a little bit about cheesing. Well cheesing is a gourmet grilled cheese truck that's headquartered in Birmingham. And so uh basically we we do real cheese based on our experiences of living in many states across America. And so our food is really based on different areas where we've lived. You know, cool. like Chicago, we do a Chicago milled and then living in uh, South Carolina, we do palmetto cheese, uh, milk, you know, so different types of real cheese sandwiches based off where we lived. Awesome. So what were your initial thoughts on how this pandemic would affect your business? The pandemic was kind of crazy when it hit us, so. <laughs> it was. It, it, it was, and it, and it has been. A lot of events that we had planned for 2020, you know, beyond February, all, not one, but all were canceled. That was probably the biggest thing that happened with us in the food truck is the events being canceled. Gotcha. And what did business look like prior to and after the shutdown that happened? Our schedule was indeed full for all the way past the summer months, and so we had to just fire with the events that we had, uh, places like the Woodland Street Market, counseling, that was one example. Uh, so we had to just, uh, so to speak, just fire, so to speak, and uh, start focusing more on neighborhoods. Even downtown, a lot of the, uh, the high-rise buildings in the city center uh, a lot of employees are working from home now, so you don't have the center of mass population downtown that we had, with the exception of the Birmingham Medical District, the VA Hospital, UAB, and uh, the Children's Hospital. But as far as downtown, we had to adjust and start looking at the neighborhoods. Okay. So what sort of changes did y'all have to make in terms of like the cleaning and everything, and how did that impact your overall way of doing things? Well, immediately we started looking at uh, what the health department requirements were, you know, for just uh, social distancing and, and wearing a mask. And, and the truck was already outfitted with plexiglass at the concession window. And so our point of sale allowed for us to, uh, to, to, to have a wireless connection via Bluetooth. So we could set it out on the shelf and not even have to physically touch someone's credit card while using the plexiglass as a, as a first line of defense. Cool. So what are y'all's thoughts on how this will affect the restaurant business moving forward and what are y'all's plans for the future? Well, I think that uh, we're positioned to do great things in the future with expanding. And I think that uh, the pandemic was a, 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 a bit of an opportunity to get uh, into new uh, neighborhoods that we had never gone into and, and, and people starting to you know want and desire the, the product that we have. And so I think it's been more of an opportunity and a great blessing for all of us. We, we have to look at it that way. It's, it's being a, a, a blessing and, and just kind of um, doing a self-assessment of, of your lives with your family and spending more time with them. And uh, so overall, I think it's, it's been a hidden blessing for, for some businesses. And then others, you know, having a lot of overhead and physical locations, that could be problematic, but it's being a, a mobile food truck we didn't have to deal with, with, with shutting down our operation. So that's been the, the, the great blessing for us. Awesome. Awesome. So anything else you guys want to add or just before we wrap this up? Or no. Just cheesing? Well, yeah. <laughs> Keep cheesing? <laughs> well, 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 first of all, we appreciate you. Yes. And uh, we thank you. And, and, and the, well, the video you that you did uh, several months back was outstanding. That we, we absolutely love it. And we think that you do a great job appreciate you thank you i appreciate y'all as well for doing this this is like i said this is something i'm trying something different so